So you join us at a very windy and cold Partridge Lakes today for an early spring approach um, into our target me peg on a generic -y snake lake. Um, we're sat on Covey 1, peg 6. Um, I haven't fished this lake before, but I come for the open yesterday um, on Covey 3 and it was mostly um, shallow water fishing either across or down the edge. So I've set up a few different rigs. Um, there's quite a bit of a tow and an undercurrent today um, and the wind is blustering. So I've set up some wire slim floats um, that we can look at in a bit more detail in a bit. Um, and then I'm gonna target the far bank mud line as well. And then chuck some maggots down the middle for a bit later on if it's a bit hard. Um, another month's time, it's gonna be like all shallow fishing, but it's really early spring. Um, it's actually snowed this morning. So we're just trying to catch them in the shallow water. Um, I say, a bit later on it'll be all shallow fishing but we're not looking at that today it's just shallow water fishing and then fishing down the middle with some maggots let's get a rig on and have a look so quick run through on rigs um i've got two foot across on the mud line um so that is 018 main line no 12 up length an mxc1 in an 18 um a little bulk of uh, six number eights and then a 0.4 mud liner with a couple of back shock and a decent lash and a medium sized flexi pot with uh that's red slick 10 to 12 slick in a short kit um, and then for fishing down the edge i've got a um, short kit again red slick same main line same hook length this time i've got a 0.2 xl wire slim pattern um, so you can see you can probably appreciate the gusty wind now um, so i'd normally fish an xl carbon if it was really still but I want that bait to be held a little bit stiller. Um, so I've gone for the wire pattern. Uh, 0.2 in size with five number, what are those? Five number 10 spread over, say five inches, just on the hook length nut. Um, and that's fed with a, a medium flexi pot again. And then the only other line that I've gone for today is a bit of a throwaway line if it's gonna be hard um, for fishing down the middle with maggots. Um, again, if it was nice and still, I'd go for an XL carbon and try and flutter it through. But today, today we're just like clinging on for dear life. So um, it's a little bit too deep for a short kit. So I've just got a top kit extender there. We're fishing in about, what's that? Six foot of water, I guess. Um, same rig makeup, hook length material wise. Uh, 012 and MXC, one in an 18. Um, and then I've got this shotted with a bulk and one dropper. So I've got um, five number eight Balabini, 12 inches from the hook. And then one number eight Balabini is my positive dropper on my hook length knot. Um, float choice, if I can hold on to my top kit, I've got a 0.4 XL wire there, so nice, stable in that horrible conditions, and then a couple of back shot, and then I've just got a medium uh, flexi pot with an extender in, so I can just feed a few maggots through that um, and keep it nice and tight, because there'll be no throwing in by hand today. So that's a quick run through of the rigs, let's have a look at uh, bait next. So bait wise, couldn't be simpler, um, I've got some red and white maggots, then just some ground bait and pellets. Ground bait wise, I've got some nice claggy, and um, that's the Dynamite original milled expander with just a little bit of black just to darken it off ever so slightly. But it's really, really claggy because I just want to clump that in. And then I've got some uh, Swim Stain original uh, two mil, so I've just done the night before again, so they're nice and tacky and will clump in and stop us um, getting any foul lookers, hopefully. And then just a few pro expanders, uh, just in a little bag, some some four mils and some six mils. But going off yesterday, um, maggots were much better, so we're going to try try and catch some maggots in the snow. Right. So the first area that I'm going to look at fishing is down the edge. Uh, I've got about three foot of water there. Just going to start with double maggot on the hook. Uh, I'm going to start with a red and a white. Just hook through the blunt end. And then that medium flexi part I've just putting in, what's that, 20 maggots. And then just capping that off with a little bit of milled. I'm going to go ship that down to the next platform, just where we've got a bit of cover. And um, the reed bed close to me didn't plumb up very well, so we're trying to snare one against the cover of the pallet. So we're just going to fold in that little bit of ground bait and maggots and then that nice light wire float. I'm gonna lay in at an angle and try and get like a natural fall on it as best I can. Um, it has gone a little bit stiller now, as I say, it's been all over the place and we've had snow and it's been really windy, but it has gone nice and flat, so I should be able to present that relatively easy now. See if there's one lurking there for us. Bolt straight away. Oh, 
that red slick's lovely so if you get a nice bonus carp it's strong enough to control them and then if you're catching little stocky f1s as well it's it's perfect just on to my first roller and watching where that one is i think that's a big f1 Take me time with it, it's trying to go around the reed bed. Angry one, he didn't want to be taken from his home. So just watching it go onto that back roller. And then we'll break it down on that short kit. And just take me time with it. First one. Might be a car, feels quite heavy now. Yeah, it's just plodding, he's got to be a car. Oh yeah, nice, nice car. Great big tail on him. I think it's gonna make, make me stand up to net him. Lawrence just wrapped round him, he's in the mouth. Just take my time with him. Sun's blinding me now, so I can't see where the fish is. Talk about changeable weather. Slide him in the net, there we go, beautiful fish. Shall we try and hold him up? Because he is a nice one. Let's just move that rig out of the way. Didn't realise they were that big in this site, to be honest. See if he behaves himself. Look at that. Beautiful common. Let's put him in the net. And then we'll just repeat the process. Uh, so getting that nice light wire rig again double maggot through the blunt end white and red nice chunky maggots 20 maggots in the flexi pot up thereabouts and then that nice claggy milled expander that's going to go straight to the bottom and then i'm just going to prime that throwaway line down the middle with some maggots And whirl that one back out down the edge. And then just lay that rig in and cling on for dear life with that blustery wind. They do seem to like this shout of the pallets in those early spring sessions. Say later in the in the spring and in the summer they seem to want to come close in the banking but they do like the cover of those pallets and going off uh, the open yesterday it was a case to catch a couple of fish on a line and then move so i am conscious of keeping an eye on the time but there's definitely a fish still in my peg there um, and not giving it too long on a swim and just nicking a few fish off say the other pallet um, and looking at catching a cross as well no point sitting down there if you're getting no indications or no signs of fish. So I'm just going to give that a refeed because there's definitely one down there. Just tempting with a few more loose offerings, so a pinch of maggots, Not too many, and then that nice claggy ground bait. Well, take my time when I'm putting my pot in because I want it to go in the right place and then just get a little tap and it releases and then we're just leaning that that floating at an angle and almost dragging it up that shelf indication straight away there 
Yeah, there's definitely one there. There we go, nice clean bite. So after a few lowliness and stuff, I've come in and refed um, just for my little flexi pot. And that was a nice clean bite. There's clearly a few fish down there. And I say, I've started with maggots as opposed to pellets, just going on uh, yesterday that I say pellets weren't very good. If I was fishing and getting issues with small silverfish and stuff, um, I'd perhaps look at fishing pellets or if it was a little bit warmer. Um, but maggots definitely seem, oh, no, Steph one, uh, better going off yesterday and today. So we'll try and hold him up for the camera. It's quite feisty. Oh, he's having none of it. Try again. Nice chunky F1. So I've caught a few down the edge, but it's apparent they don't want to be clattered down there. It's a case of catching a few, putting a little bit of bait in and then rotating line. So I'm going to have a look across on the mud now in say two foot of water. I've uh, got a nice point form uh, mud liner there. Going to feed this with uh, maggots and ground bait again. So we'll just get a red and a white. And I've just potted say 100 maggots and a golf sized ball of uh, milled expander down the edge to, to go back onto just to bounce across the lines as opposed to say when it's good a little bit later down the line and you can real, really clatter them out of one hole. So we'll ship that across to the far banking. Hopefully the wind won't blow us too, too much over the place. And just tap that nice bit of claggy ground bait in, right on that mud. And then just wait for that mud liner to straighten up. And we can touch it against the bank there. So I've got a couple of uh, back shot and a decent lash on there because it's quite blustery. So I don't want to move the rig indication straight away there it's always a good sign when you can hear them sucking down the edge in the uh, windward corner there so after a refeed i've gone straight back in and caught one straight away that nice visible two mil tip on that mud liner just got dotted down. Oh, this one's going a bit berserk. And I say the most changeable weather conditions I think I've ever fished in. Bright sunshine the one minute and then it's snowing the next. Um, and then very windy. So uh, we are actually in springtime and not the depths of winter that you might be fooled into to thinking or the weather conditions. So you let that elastic do the work. It's just a little stocky F1 by the looks of it. It's running me all over the shop. There we go. Nice clean fish. Unhook him and I'll show you him. Nice little stocky. Slip him into the net. And then it's just a case of repeating the process. Oh, a bit of snow went down my hood then. So into the EVA, uh, got one red maggot through the blunt end and a white maggot through the blunt end. 20 maggots in the, in the flexi pot. And then just a nice bit of claggy ground bait in there as well. And as and when I can, I'm trying to feed some maggots on my short line by hand, but when it's real gustering, there's no point because it'll just go all over the place. So just taking a time. And with that wind as well, just taking my time when I'm turning the pot over. I don't want it to go in the wrong spot. So if it takes an extra 10 seconds to go in the right place as opposed to two foot down the line or something when the wind gusts it's worth it and then that nice positive 
0.4 mud lower now, just propped up against the mud there. So we're fishing in about two foot of water, which is perfect at this time of year. And then those two back shot just doing the work and I'm just clinging on to the pole for, for dear life. Indication straight away again there. So there's obviously a few fish there, which is nice to see. There we go, fish again. So a few quick fish down the edge and then that died off. And then I've gone across and caught a few quick fish again. It's just to say about timing your bites and not taking too long on, on one line without refeeding or say potentially changing lines. Got plenty of fight in them today. Oh, missed him with a net. There we go. Another F1 on the mud line. In the nice snowy conditions. You gotta love English weather. Slip him into the net. Line for fishing down the middle is slightly different to the norm um, because the conditions are a bit rough and wild today. I've got a 0.4 XL wire there, double maggot on the hook and I'm just going to fill some maggots into my medium flexi pot. As I say, normally I like to feed this line by hand um, but conditions aren't allowing me to do that all the time. And I've got a bit longer lash than I normally would have. So we'll just pop those few maggots in and if I can, just flip that rig past it. And then I'm gonna hold my rig, well, my float about a foot out the water and just wait for it all to straighten up and then lower the last foot into the water. So there's some bubbles coming up down the middle, which is a good sign, tells me that they're on the bottom. Um, and as I've spoke about already, I'm feeding quite a few maggots there, um, not very often, to try and keep them on the deck. Um, if I was feeding them, Lit and laugh and they perhaps come up off the bottom but today it isn't good enough to catch shallow uh, properly so it's just a case of putting say 50 maggots or oh, straight away there 50 maggots in a cup or where allowed um, feeding them by hand to try and pin them to the deck as opposed to feeding little enough and to, to catch them shallow like you would um, say in a couple of weeks time even so just wait for that rig to straighten up got a decent lash length between floor pole float and tip as well and a couple of back shot there to just try and cling on for dear life when it's uh, getting a bit rough and wild so the wind's died down a little bit now so I can chuck that decent handful of maggots and just prep ready for my next fish breaking down onto my short kit give it a strip of the pull at and then hopefully the F1 will pop up There we go, nice little stockfish. Didn't take too long. Pretty little one. So we'll slide him into the net and repeat the process. So going for double maggot again. Just get those old ones off the hook. and then fill in that flexi pot, that medium. Just got a extender in there, so we can just get a few more maggots in. And then just shipping that out to tuck it and so turning the pot over, because that wind's blustering again. Just taking my time, making sure I'm not spreading it too much, tapping that out. And then I want to, if I can, he says, flip my rig past it. and then just try and wait for it to straighten up. Um, but that wind has picked up again. And then we'll just lower it down. And that wire float is nice and stable and we've got one there straight away. 
say it's going to be too windy this time to chuck any maggots out my hand so I don't want them to spread all over the place and have fish all over the shop so just where wind allows food in by hand if not everything's done through the flexi pot Not big fish down the middle, but nice quick response and nice weight builders. The snow has got that bad. I thought we'd uh, call it a day now. We've had a good day's fishing here at Partridge Lakes, um, looking at a typical spring approach on a uh, snake lake. Uh, we've targeted three foot of water, two foot of water, and down the middle, and um, just rotating those lines to keep bites coming. It's not summertime where you can go in and clatter a um, fish say down the edge all day or across on the mud line all day it's been a case of picking fish off say down the edge across and down the middle to maximize those bites um, and catch as many fish as possible hopefully you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching